where we do movies, TVs, video games, news, and just everything. Us. Yeah, and us. Yeah, exactly. Where we bring you the, like Mason said, on this week's episode of Gamers Update, we got November 18th, which is a Friday, like we do every Friday. Right. We bring you everything that's going on in the week, and if we've missed something, please tell us down in the comments, because we need to know. We need to know everything. We need to know everything. We have this massive list. Days ago, Games with Gold, and the Xbox One Games with Gold that came out today was Murdered Soul Suspect. You're a detective who died, but you come back as a ghost and solve your own murder, and all the other murders that are happening around in the town of Salem, Massachusetts. There's witchcraft ghosts, and uh, it's actually not that creepy. I can actually handle playing it. One thing I would say as a warning, whenever you play through the game, and you're about to beat it, go back and get all the collectibles before you beat the game, because if you beat the game, have to start all over to get all the collectibles. Which is really stupid if you ask me. I mean, yeah. you should be allowed to go back to at any point and get the collectibles. So the reason I like open world games, you fuck up and you miss a collectible, as long as it's not something that can die, you can go find it. I mean, I can understand, like, it's like, oh, first level, make sure you get all the stuff in the first level. Yeah. And that I can understand. It's like, oh, I, I mean, just Gears is kind of like level. that, too, but I mean, Gears allows you to jump back and forth. Right. Also, speaking of games of gold, well, we got Far Cry... Blood Dragon on the Xbox One and 360 this week. Or the rest of this month, I should say. Sorry, I, I about like burped. So, in case if no one's ever, if you know Far Cry, this is an 80 nostalgic. This makes jokes of all the 80 stuff and it is priceless. And let me tell you, it breaks the fourth wall a little bit. So, whenever I first heard that this was coming out, I got Far Cry and Fallout mixed up really bad, so I was like, why is Fallout 3 Blood Dragon coming out? It's like, that's stupid. It's like, I hate Fallout games. Oh, Far Cry, never mind, we're good. Mason, I really like your shirt, bud. Thanks, buddy. It's a Pokemon shirt. And speaking of Pokemon... I mean, I knew it was a Pokemon shirt. I was complimenting you on that. Thank you, bud. Today, Sun and Moon comes out today. So excited! Like after we're done recording this, I'm literally going down driving 30 miles to go get my coffee and come back. Just like for like 30 miles a minute or, or an hour? I'm not thought 30 miles an hour. No, I'm not going to drive like a grandma. But okay, I was about to say, but you're really excited for this game. I mean, yeah, I mean, you, you, this is nothing but what you've talked about on Xbox in the past two weeks. That, that is true. I mean. It's like you, you have to get, fill me in on details a lot. So. so basically, all it is is like if you've ever watched the anime, and if you haven't watched the anime, it's we highly cool. recommend it. Yeah, it's good. So it yeah. do, do, he, do. he recommends it. I highly recommend it for if you're someone like me who doesn't play both games at the same time. Here's all I'm going to say about the anime. If you're expecting him to win the whole league, don't ever fucking believe it, because he'll never fucking do it. <laughs> it. It's been an ongoing thing that he never wins the fucking league ever. Like, this last one that he just finished with the league, he came in second. He never fucking wins. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, I can only season, imagine how that goes. It's like, Mom, oh, look, I won the white league. You came in second, asshole. Shit. <laughs> you, won, you won second, ass. I mean, ash. <laughs> Is what yeah. we're talking. Okay, so <laughs> after after he faces uh, the Kanto League and all that, which is the first season, he goes into the Orange Islands where he has to go around the four islands. Oh, the shows. wait. So this is what that is? This is basically what it is, but it's based on Hawaii. Oh, okay. So it's basically you go around the four islands, become the best in the island, and then face the league after that. Huh. So there is an Elite Four. It's just you have to be the best of the four islands and then go face the Elite Four. Huh. Okay. And they add new Pokemon and stuff like that, new things, like new moves and new power moves too, which I'm really excited for. And another thing to add on to it is before they had a huge problem with pirated Sun and Moon. So basically, now Game Freak is saying, hey, if you're streaming or putting these videos out on YouTube with pirated copies, uh, you're, you're going to be banned. So all of them are banned now from YouTube and from Twitch. So. Yeah, good luck with that. Just take it, put it in the pirate chest, and then sink it down there into the bottom of the sea, because it's all pirated. <laughs> Speaking of pirated, well, on a different term of pirated, usually how they get pirated is by hacking. Which gets me to the next game that came out this week. You're sitting here, like, trying to connect the docks. 
dots are like. We'll, we'll play. We'll play with the dots when, uh, when, right. when we're not on screen. But so Watch Dogs Two came out. Now Mason, I don't know. Uh, did you ever play the first one? No, I haven't. Let me tell you, it was okay. Cool. It wasn't super good. Wasn't super bad. I heard GTA knockoff, but it more or less is. Cool. So is this one. But don't. I'm not gonna bash it until I give it a try. But the nice thing is, this is more. There's a lot more to do in this game. It's not as fleshed out as what a lot of gamers like me would like in an open world game. But I mean, you take what you can get, which is not bad. So you know, maybe one of the other up gamer updates. I'll give him, I'll give my review on this game one of these many days. Yeah. So, Mason, you know I'm a huge Star Wars fan. You are a huge Star Wars fan, and I know you are too to an extent, right? I I. Watched all the movies. I understand all the criteria. I understand all the stuff that happens. I even played the shit out of the game. Have you ever read a Star Wars comic? I have not read a Star Wars comic though. That's that's the new thing I have not ventured yet. I highly recommend Star Wars comics. But I did hear that they are coming out with Darth Maul comics. They sure are. To be in more detail by you. Oh. <laughs> so so what it's about is more or less you know it it's kind of it's just about Darth Maul. Kind of his life, like be before when he's training with Palpatine, before Episode One, about his death. Uh, the way I understand it, it's going to kind of take artistic styles from the co the animated shows, mm -hmm. which is kind of cool. Yeah, I don't I, know if you've ever watched the animated stuff. Love but, the animated stuff, and we were talking about how DC's animated stuff's a lot better. Yeah, than, it, than their real life movies. They're they're amazing, but. It more or less is just going to kind of deal with that. Now, I don't know if you know much about Dark Maul, but you know, spoiler alert, he dies in the first one. No! But he magically reappears in the Clone Wars animated series and oh. is lived on through that now. Does does he have, like, his bottom half, is his bottom half, like, spider legs? More or less, yeah. Oh, that'd be sick. So, I don't, I don't know how they're going to do it. It's just as a mini series, but I definitely am going to have to get a hold of a few to read to find out. Oh, hell yeah. So... You know, Mason, I don't know about you, but I'm ready for Thanksgiving. I am too. Especially the new video we're coming out for Thanksgiving, the Blender Challenge. Our, our, don't ruin it. Our yearly thing. That yeah, we do. so don't ruin what we I'm do. not going to ruin it. But. but, I don't know about you, but the next best part of Thanksgiving, besides all the good foods, is the amazing deals we get on Black oh, Friday. Oh, yeah, like everything's like, oh, 75%, 50% off, come buy everything. This is like a freaking yard, used car, yard sale that's matched with sweet level for used car sale. That's like, we are selling everything on the lot today. We're getting it all out. Take everything. Take everything. Take the shelves if you need. But, so what's cool is this is why I love Microsoft. Yes. Microsoft is starting their Black Friday sales today. Oh, Lord. I need to get my credit card for out. For the Black, Black Friday, for Black Friday people, for gold members only. Cool. We, we, get, we get it early and then starting November 22nd, still four days before Thanksgiving and Black Friday. Yes. The rest of the, it opens up for the rest of the normal human population. Oh, so basically, if you have gold, you're... Basically, like the EA access. More or less. Or... Yep. And so, let me tell you, I don't know if you've done some, the deals with Summer or whatever it's called. Yeah, I have. That's where I got a shitload of my games this year. We're going to get a shitload of games this year, too, with games with the Black Friday deal. I kind of hope whether they have the Batman stuff on there for that glow. <laughs> it's like, oh, Return of Arkham, two games for 20 oh, Fucking take my money now. Just shoot me like a Sally. Yeah, that made no sense. But. We can I hope not Sally's say. the name of Old Yeller is what you're thinking of. <laughs> we can go with that. All right. I need to watch Old Yeller again, it looks like. <laughs> Speaking of movies, what comes out today? Oh, yeah, the Harry Potter movie. And not only is it Harry Potter, but it's Harry Potter in 1928, not involving Harry Potter, but in America. And they look for Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. And funny enough, that's the time. Oh my god! I will definitely have to tell you how it is. I, I plan on going seeing it tonight, actually. I will say this. I was so happy when they ended the last one. Because I have just got fucking tired of watching Harry being a punk nose brat, basically. And then I saw his kid pop up. I was like, motherfucker, if they make another one involving his kid and they make another eight more that I have to fucking watch, I'm going to be fucking pissed. But then they came up with this one. I'll tell you what, I'm actually more excited about this one than I have been out at any Harry Potter movie so far. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just for people out there that don't know, 
the the movie is based on the book inside the movie and book it's the monster manual book technically yes I, that's book inception to the extreme right there the book so mason you like pinball i like him like to I don't say, I mean, tell, you, like, tell, tell. You, you like to lose Pinball Wizard, too. Pinball Wizard. You can become a Pinball Wizard. Yeah! The Cesta's new pinball tables. I'll get my hat. You have to have a hat to play pinball? A wizard hat. Oh, okay, that makes sense. A pinball Wizard. So, they're coming out. They just announced uh, a couple days ago that there is going to be... They're, they're bringing pinball tables. Now, I don't know if they're going to be like, um, like you know, they do for... Pinball arcade on the Xbox and the PlayStation, and the or do they mean like real? Pinballs? Yeah, I don't know about that one. They didn't go into the. I didn't get to see the details. About real that. pinball machines would be sick. Like yeah. I would drop a couple grand to get a cool big ass pinball machine. Fucking play for hours. Yeah, hours. I would say one of Doom would be amazing. Yes. The only creepy part <laughs> would be middle of the night. You'd be sitting, somebody. You'd be sitting there playing it, or you know. Like an arcade machine, or, or like an or you be asleep all of a sudden. You're plug. Honey, it's possessed. I'm moving. <laughs> Good luck. But yeah, uh, they got Elder Scrolls too, and a few other games. Um, I didn't get to see the whole list. They just That's that it. was the two big ones I really care more about than anything. Yeah. Um, Jason, you really like the. Backwards capability with the Xbox One. I do. Right? I've I've played the first Force Unleashed trying to get them to change back that I haven't gotten since my iPad my 360, which I still have my 360 though. But so. um, but the only thing I hate about it is I get it in there, it works out fine, and I put it back in its case, and I try to stick it in there with all the other ones, and then I have all my Xbox One games, and then all my 360 games that are like yeah. another half case taller so for people out there that don't know and for you and for me where we if we want to go out and buy a 360 game they got two type of cake two microsoft has announced and released two types of different cases now yeah. you have the classic case which is the tall one which is the tall one that states hey this plays on xbox one two still can be played on the 360 and then now you have the new and improved xbox one case that says Xbox and an Xbox 360. Huh. And you remember how there's a lot of games with that black line going across that says internet, online, online? Yeah, it requires internet in the bottom like Destiny. Well, now this is up top. It goes across. It says can be played on 360 too. Huh. So let me tell you, Mark, so kudos to you, my, fo my friends, because there's a lot of people out there that don't know the list, and this is going to help that massive scrolling list that just keeps on going. So, for Xbox One, oh, that's a three, and for PS4 Pro, and you blow. That's an air bomb. <laughs> Alrighty. Mason, you know, I really, really love Telltale Games, and I really love Marvel. You were telling me earlier today that oh, there's I, a writer's strike going on, though. Actor strike. But actor strike, my bad. Well, I got some news for you, though. Apparently, one of the actors in the actor strike, which is in either California, Hollywood, or wherever, we'll, um, we'll, we'll pinpoint it later, maybe. Anyway, one of the actors in it was actually an actor, a voice actor, for Telltale, and he was saying, "It's like, yeah, Telltale is collaborating with Marvel Games, and they are making one baby that is known as." Guardians of the Galaxy Telltale. Now, if you told me this before Guardians came out, I would have looked at you and said, is there going to be a Nova? Well, your number one thing would be, no, there's not, Shu, because Nova doesn't exist yet. But at the same time, I'd be looking at you like, what the fuck's wrong with them? But that's before the movie. Mm -hmm. After we've seen this movie, after we've seen the trailer for Guardians 2, I'll tell you. I'm just, I'm stoked. I know. You don't see the little kid inside of me going, <laughs> but you know that's what we're supposed to compose ourselves again. So <laughs> the big thing that I love of this, first of all, I love Telltale Games. I do it's, too. It's it's all story. It's it's a minimum action, but there's still some there's action. There's enough action. There's to enough action to keep you keep you. It's not like you play with the controller. There's like. No, you actually have to be ready because something might happen at any second. So, 
All I love is that they're bringing the characters of Marvel with some of their story and put it with the story and some action of Telltale. I mean, it's basically going to be just a big, big... Sexy baby. Yes. It's it's going to be a David Beckham, Brad Pitt baby. It's, it, that would be one fucking sexy baby that right would, there. That, that, <laughs> there. Well, it's funny is their name would be Pitcom, but still. <laughs> and that is a Daniel Tosh joke right there. Oh my god, is that Pitcom? Is that Pitcom? Is that Mufasa? But anyway, this is going to be good. Because Batman Telltale is already so good as it is right now. And they've only released the third one. they still got two more to go. See, that's what I love about Telltale Games is that episodical thing part of it makes the game ten, ten times, times better. better. Because like you play that one episode and there's a big twist again. You're like, oh, when's the next one coming out? Give me more, give me more. And then they once you, it's like, fucking take my money now. Yeah. Thank you for joining us on Gamers Update. I'm Shu. I about called myself Mason. And that's Mason. I'm Shu. <laughs> and that's Shu today, too. If you like this, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you don't like this, still like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> because we need to know what we're doing wrong if we're doing anything wrong. Or what if we're doing anything right. Let's well, that is true. Comments. Yeah. Definitely, if you don't like this, please tell us to go shut up and... <laughs> But this has been Gamers Update. If you... I lost you, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> like, subscribe, comment, let us know what you think. If you like it, if you don't like it, still like, subscribe. If you really like what we're doing here today, please definitely tell us. We want to keep doing this because I know me and Mason really like this. This is a good way for us to sure we bring the news to you guys with the, with the Loud Cruise Gamers Update. So spread the word, and we are the crew, and you've been updated. Woo oh, hey, thank you for watching the whole video. If you like what you saw, make sure you click down here to subscribe. Also, if you like it, you just leave a like on it, all right? If you want to go to our sponsor, the Crew Club School, up here is some gamers option, or if you want to go to Twitter, we do every video we do, right up here. Also, you can follow me on Twitch at Divine Nightmare 57. I'll just fucking stand here and wait for you. But don't worry, I'm not going to scream.